Many generations will have very happy memories of visiting Hay Hall in Wigan, but in recent times, the ravages of time have had an impact. But it's being transformed after Wigan Council bought it two years ago. It's getting a facelift with the help of £20 million grant from the Leveling Up Fund and money from the Heritage Lottery. The new look K Hall will boast a rooftop bar, arts gallery and underground cinema. Yes, fancy our reporter Claire Hannah has been for a look around and all will be revealed while the Verve are playing Bittersweet Symphony. This place has been at the heart of Wigan's history for over 900 years. Full of uh, scaffolding, as you can see, and under development, but that's the, the joy of it. It's actually growing and happening. The current jewels of Wigan, and we're just so excited. People have been wanting this for a long time. This is Hay Hall. Not quite as we're used to seeing it, but after years of watching it rot and crumble for thousands of Wiganers, it's a site for sore eyes. We are standing inside the iconic dome at Hay Hall. We're right at the top of it. Yeah, amazing. It's such a privilege, really. I mean, you think that, you know, we're probably, you know, the, the, the second group of people that have been up here since the hall was built. To actually be here and sort of touch the four winds and the griffins down there, it's, it's real amazing. All the plaster work actually was made in Paris. It was all designed by a guy that lived in Manchester and the Earl that built the hall in the early 1800s. Hay Hall's been a stately home with Rembrandt's and Botticelli's hanging on the walls. It had one of the biggest private libraries in Europe. It served as a military hospital during both world wars and stored treasures from London. Now, all that history is going to be unlocked. We're gonna have a bunker cinema. The family uh, during the Second World War had a bunker down there and they actually stored treasure for the nation. So obviously London was being blitzed. Every museum in London closed during the Second World War. Hay actually held Christopher Wren's original model of St. Paul's, which the, the kids used to play with it like a doll's house. Each of the five floors is going to be opened with plans for an observatory and a cocktail bar on the roof and an art gallery for the Wigan artist Theodore Major, who was a contemporary of Lowry. They were friends actually, you know, and I remember Lowry coming to the house occasionally and meeting him in Manchester. They were so opposite. Theodore Major refused to sell his work. Instead, he used to let people into his house to look at it for free. And now, thanks to his daughter, thousands of his paintings will be on display free once again. I first came into this room some time ago now and looked round and I, I just thought, this is an art gallery <laughs> and I've got the works to fill it, you know, they'd be wonderful, I think it's just the place. This is a song called Sonic. We can't come to Hay Hall without mentioning this. Verb was here. I, I'd just come on the fence at that time. Never seen anything like it in your life. There was tents everywhere and people everywhere. The Verve playing their iconic hometown gig in 1998, and Wigan's current biggest band, the Lathers, will be playing there too. This is one of the things they've always wanted to do. They understand they are. They've grown up with it. And once we've got this done, they will be the first people coming on here doing it. So the music is coming back, and a bit more sedate. This is making a comeback too the land train, but this one is electric. What we really want to do here is create a new future. A lot of people talk about the golden age of Hay Hall, but I think the golden age is coming. It's going to be at least two and a half years until Hay Hall is back open and we'll be able to see the jewel in Wigan's crown sparkling once again. Claire Hannah, ITV News, Wigan. Definitely one to celebrate. What an incredible renovation project. Brilliant. And I was there in that crowd, yeah, we... camping under the stars in Wigan. Was it a good crack? It was. And Chris said he was yeah. there too. Did you behave yourself? I did. I camped and gave her hope. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't behave herself. I did, before I was married as well. <laughs>
It's still unseasonably mild. It's Kelly with the weather. <laughs>